Guess which boss balloon hasn't left us alone for about... What is it now? Five weeks? Four weeks? Week four? Week five? Anyway, I, I, I have already beaten this, but I will be recording this attempt, so... Hell yeah, let's get into it. Alright, I've turned off my monkey knowledge as well, so this is impoppable, but on cubism. So it kind of balances out. I'd say Blinarius is still on... on, on Blinarius on Blinarius Prime is still probably the most difficult version. So this one doesn't seem too bad. The only problem is that uh, it's impoppable difficulty, which is the most expensive difficulty to buy anything on. So we are going to be a bit uh, tight for cash, but hopefully Ben can change that and hopefully our banana farm- holy crap, our banana farms are expensive. But yeah, that, that's pretty much the only hindrance. And the reason it's on cubism is because that is a major benefit for us considering it's on impoppable difficulty. Because this map is a long one. Even just a solo dart monkey can hold back for quite some time. Look at that. Can almost handle round four solo. It's a good thing it wasn't real impoppable. Wait, does real impoppable only have one life? Or am I thinking something else? Anyway, let's upgrade this guy. Because he seems like he's uh, gonna start sucking soon. And we don't want to be caught with our pants down. Before round ten, at least. I mean, come on. Alright. Basic, basic strategy, similar to pretty much every other one. Just get Benjamin down, start making money. Make enough money to make more money. Make enough money to make more money. Create a good enough defense to defend the first Blenarius, and then just boom. Money explosion, and we should be good from there on out. Come on, Benji. Jeez, 10 rounds in and we don't even have a Benjamin or another tower. Impoppable mode is insane, but luckily we can make cash to sort of uh, counteract that insanity. Just another 200. Come on, we almost there. Come on. Hey, let's put Ben down there. Boom, 100. Nice. Okay, now that we've got some sort of income, let's try and make our defense a little stronger. Give him some camo detection, a bit more range. Ben, making 150 per round now. Beautiful. Now we're going to need to start farming up. <clears throat> okay, but obviously, on uh, Cubism, it's a perfect map for so many good towers to shine. The main one being the tack zone. Everybody loves the tack zone when it comes to to uh, Blinarius by the looks of it. So uh, why not why not run it now? May as well, right? Okay, banana farm, let's go. All right, I'm gonna go for the slightly less effective banana farm in the long run. But in the early game, more effective because it gets you more cash quicker. Because if you didn't know, I'm going, I'm going for the bottom path just because I'm really lazy. But if you mix it with the middle path, you go two in the middle, like three or four at the bottom. It's more efficient than going two at the top and three or four at the bottom. But it only becomes more efficient once you actually get to the three or four at the bottom. So, while it's still in its early stages, this boy is more effective. Alright, we are going to need to drop something down, so let's put down our future tax zone. Buff it a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but uh, just, just giving us a little bit more of a leg to stand on, to survive on. There we go. Just so the dart monkey's not struggling by himself the whole time. Beautiful. Second banana farm, not too bad. I don't think we're going to be getting much more than a tier 2 banana farm. Than a bunch of tier 2 banana farms. But, uh... We'll certainly try our best to upgrade that tax shooter a little bit more. 
We'll get one more banana farm. And then we'll upgrade the attack a bit more, I think. Yeah, because we look okay for now. Not amazing, but not terrible. Oh, leads. We need to defend against leads. Never mind, we're going for an alchemist. Put him on strong. There we go. Back to the farming. A good old farmer's life. Almost had them all. And clean up. Beautiful. Okay, I think we will splash a bit more cash on this guy. Once we get another farm. I think four's good enough. When we get four. There we go. I think that'll be good enough for the first wave of Blenarius. We just need to make sure we've got like backups. And by backups I mean things that can pop the ceramics that come out of Blenarius. Because that's the real threat in the first wave. Everything else is just kind of meh, you know? Blenarius himself isn't actually a pain on the first wave. It's just all the ceramics that he throws out in like bundles of hundreds. Alright, let's also go for our village. So that we can buff our boys appropriately. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll want our overdrive next. And you probably could have fit in another farm between now and then. I'm just taking it relatively safely. Re relatively safely? I'm just taking a relatively safe path, I guess. Uh, why not? We'll get radar scanner first, sure. Gotta make sure our guy's prepared to pop any and everything. And then we can upgrade our alchemist after this as well. Okay, but we're looking good so far. Looking good so far. Could be doing a lot better on money. I should have uh, upgraded a little bit more and been a little bit more stingy, but uh, it's alright. There we go, I think that's good enough for now. We'll get primary training. I don't think we need primary mentoring just yet, but it could be helpful. Um, let's go for our friends the boomerang next, because that's going to be what's going to clean up most of this mess when it inevitably all springs out. Already working hard for his money. Now, Blenarius at the moment is not our problem. It may look like our problem, but it is really not. We need Red Hot Rangs. There we go. And start buffing this guy. Sell the Dart Monkey at this point, because you really don't need it. And it's better off to uh, be buffing the Tax Zone. Well, the future Tax Zone, look at it go. Already doing wonders. And is our Boomerang enough for that? Oh yeah, the Boomerang's doing bits. Alright, let's just max out this guy. May as well, right? Okay, now we can work on some farms. Let's try and get a marketplace up. But yeah, just, just honestly, the longer it takes for Blunarius to pop, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter, so long as he's, you know, not at the end of the map, but, uh, there's, we're, no ru we're not in a rush to kill him, is what I'm trying to say here. Because he's gone past the tax shooter at least two, maybe even three more times again. So, uh, he's kind of got nowhere to run at this point. There we go. Alright. Now we've got a couple merchant, or merchant men, marketplaces up. Perfect. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of the strategies that don't require to sell anything. Like, in terms of saving enough money. You know, like, I, I sold the Dart Monkey just because it was in the way. No offense, Dart Monkey, but uh, you kind of were. Um, 
and just for this guy to get consistently buffed. I didn't sell him because I needed the money. Oh, there we go. Alright, now that we've got a decent chunk of them up and running, we can get the better versions. The ones that actually make more money. Boom, just like that. And then, if we really want to go crazy, we can get the ones even further beyond. Come on. Give me those valuable bananas. Thank you. Alright. I love strategies where you don't have to actually do anything. Where you can just leave your towers and they're like, don't worry, I got your back. It's such a beautiful thing. Valuable. Easy banana. And we'll get another marketplace and then we'll see how we're going for money. We should be going pretty well for money. In fact, we are going pretty well for money. Um, we'll get primary mentoring, just for extra damage. And then... Screw it. Let's go for emergent men. We don't need a bunch of extra cash, but merchant men are a very cheap and easy way to get extra cash. Come on. And, you know, if you want to get Grape Shot and Hot Shot, that's also a pretty solid defense in the early game as well. You'll see me doing that a lot on maps where there's a crap ton of water. Okay, we've got a boss in two rounds. How are we looking? We're not looking too bad. In fact, we're looking pretty good, I'd say. We still need to get ourselves the tax zone, but he doesn't have that much more health and he does have to pass through, like what, five times total or something? Um, but we will get the tax zone in order to beat the ceramics on 63. That is probably our biggest threat. <clears throat> so that's what we'll do. Easy enough, we're definitely going to be making enough money for it, even if we have to get part way through 63 to do it. There you go. He's still getting he's still getting taken down pretty damn quickly. All right, tax zone. Oh, just in time. <laughs> Wave sixty three stood zero chance. Uh, all right. So Blunarius is going down pretty damn fast. I don't think we're going to need much more. Um. And Wave sixty three got taken down pretty quickly. So let's just go straight for a central market. Because, fun fact, now that we've got merchant men on the field, central markets are going to buff them. If we can afford them. So it's it's sort of a double whammy when it comes to getting more money. Also, I'm not going to be using Ben's second ability consistently throughout this, but... General rule of thumb, use it whenever you can. You'll, uh, make extra cash and you won't even realise. There we go. I'm buffing these guys first just because they're the better versions, so they'll make more money in the end. But, as you can see, the merchant men are going to be earning 10% more. So instead of 200, they're getting 220. And this does stack, I believe, up to 10 times? Is it 10 times? I think it's up to 10 times. It doesn't say, though, which is scary, because that potentially means it can stack as many times as it wants to. But that doesn't make sense, so I think it's only up to 10 times. Anyway, I love this defense, though. It's it's so minimalist, and yet it does the job insanely well. So I think we'll get a few more central markets. I mean, while we can, right? May as well. Tax zone is insanely helpful on this map. Especially on Impoppable. So yeah, just, just spam Ben's ability. Central Market rolling around. We'll get some favoured trades up in here, because why not? They're cheap and dirty. 
There's another one. And... Again. Honestly, I don't know, like, if going in this order is actually, like, the most cost-benefit based farming guide in the world. But I'm just, I'm just going what works. And this works. <laughs> And I mean, while we've got the the primary mentoring here, we may as well go for some more primary fifth tiers, right? Make you make the most of it. So we'll get another central market, and then we'll start working on a bit more defense side of things, because I feel like this won't last, or this defense won't last us another Blunarius fight. It could, but I'm not willing to risk that. So. What other... What other fifth tier shall we go for? Let's go... Let's get that Dart Monkey back, but... In a better position, shall we? And by better position, I mean the fifth tier position. Damn, actually, we're making bank. Let's, let's get another central market. <laughs> I didn't realize we'd have so much cash. That's beautiful. Okay, now we'll go for it. Damn it, I didn't time that properly, but those ceramics are worth a lot if you can nail that timing. Oh well. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Alright, and if you got if you do have monkey knowledge enabled and you can get two crossbow masters, then by all means, two is better than one. Especially if you've got primary mentoring or even primary expertise. Can I nail the second one? Hey, there we go. And we should, yeah, we should definitely be able to get a crossbow master by the end of this round. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, look at that beautiful range. See, this is why you want the primary mentoring tower. It practically can see the whole map. If I moved it maybe down here, it could pretty much see 90% of the map, which is insane. And I love it. Central market. Let's just see how these two do by themselves. It's a big step up going from 20,000 to 75,000 to 350,000. Not gonna lie. Pretty, uh, pretty big leap. But I think the next thing we want to go for is probably Super Monkey. I'm gonna place a village first to get the uh, MIB and the Jungle Drums. Because the Super Monkey certainly needs it without any monkey knowledge. And we're also gonna go for... a bit of a weird path at first. But, uh... the Tech Terror and... what was the last one? The, uh, something something ultimate destruction something something something? I don't remember what it's called. What's it called? The Anti-Balloon. The Anti-Balloon. We're going to be going for the Anti-Balloon. Just because that, in a recent update, update, got an amazing buff. Starts doing crit hits now. So, with these two combined for critical hits, it's going to be quite a force. I mean, look at all those. Isn't that beautiful? All those crit hits. Amazing. Anyway, uh, it gets even stronger when you actually get the Anti-Balloon. So we'll be working towards that as well. I want to get a trade empire, because that also boosts how much cash each merchantman gets. So we'll do that. Um, how are we looking on destroying Blunarius? I think we can and will do it. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Not super amazing, but it's not like we're not kicking his ass. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> We're not not losing. <laughs> uh. Okay. Just farm even more cash. Oh. 
I'm just using that ability to speed up the rounds. Because I want more cash. Okay, okay. And we could have this guy set to first and strong, so that both arms were laser beaming the big guy. But, uh... Eh, I'm sure it's fine like it is. Delete those DDTs if you're feeling scared. Get yourself a call to arms if you're feeling scared. That'll certainly put these guys in their place. And... Boom. Get another central market. Now these, these boats should be making a massive amount of cash for us now. And... Use the ability. Okay, that's not looking like a great amount of damage, so we'll throw in a lovely Sky Shredder when we can. Take your time, money. Thank you. There we go. Use the ability again, and this should definitely save us. When I say save us, I mean clean up the Blenarius. I don't mean actually like, oh my god, we're in danger of losing, save me. Nah, we're fine. We are fine. Just waiting for the big boy here to get cleaned up. And there we go. So yeah, the, if, if you sort of take your time with Blenarius like that, you can save up insane amounts of cash. Enough to get like an anti balloon which is kind of what we're aiming for here, because why not? Look at all these crits though, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I wish I could buy crits like that for breakfast. All right, let's get serious. We're gonna get the anti balloon. It'll do a decent amount of damage. It, it's, it's not gonna do an insane, it's not gonna like shred through Blenarius instantly. And there are definitely cheaper and better towers for it. That's that's just a fact. But it's fun. It's fun to go for something big every now and then. So why not? The real towers you're looking for is something like this guy. Put him on strong so Blenarius is always getting shot. And then that'll make him take a crap ton more damage. Uh, I think embrittlement does a pretty dope job too. So we'll get- oh, super brittle. That's the one. Embrittlement? Is that what I said? God damn. Um, but yeah, as you can see, those two alone, plus the, uh, the big boy himself, have just made this completely trivial. And I've been thinking, because this is a long map, uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to be uploading a video on it unless, you know, it, it works. So if you don't see a video on it, then it probably didn't work. But um, I was thinking that maybe I'd try Blenarius Elite on this map with, uh, what do you call it? Without going for a Vengeful Temple. With, with only going for like a Paragon or something. Right, we should probably throw in some more towers here. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. Let's get an Inferno Ring with more damage. That sounds like a nice idea to me. And what else? What else? What else? Let's go for... Oh, I want him to have camo detection. Oh wait, he gets it anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's put this bad boy at the end here. With some Moab destroying insanity. Remember your hotkeys. Oh, and that guy's just gone. Okay. Uh, and that's not even a homeland. <laughs> so let's get a homeland. There we go. And then what else can we get? What else is fun? Uh, let's get something to just sort of clean up and also work towards one of my achievements. Let's get a BMA. I still haven't popped like a billion balloons with the BMA or something, whatever that achievement is. So we'll go for that, we'll set him strong. And then... 
BMA, by the way, um, for those of you wondering. Bloom Master Alchemist. It's just this. Um, insanely powerful. Look at it go. Just like one swing and it does over 200,000 damage. It's, uh, it's pretty damn good. Would, would recommend to invest. And another thing that's surprisingly good, um, is your good old middle path, actually. I, I was testing it out recently because I was also going for a different achievement. Um, if you just get that middle path tier 5 and then put five regular dart monkeys around it without really focusing on buffing them, um, they can do some in pretty insane damage. What else was I going to do? I was going to get a perma brew. Let's do that. That sounds pretty good. Alright. There we go. So insta-kills are... The insta-kill with like the BMA and the, the MAD, just the raw massive amounts of damage, that's just for the regular rounds. I know the BMA is not going to one-shot Blenarius at any point in time, although I really wish it would. Um, no, that, that, that's just for pure damage on the regular rounds. But damn, look at it go. These rounds are getting crazy. Um, I'm going to throw in a an ice monkey that can also sort of hit Moabs. I like that idea. What else? What else? I don't think really really need much else. We just need to hit the numbers, what, 4, 5, and 6? 4, 5, 6. Oh damn, yeah, we, we really don't need much else. Look at that number go down. Ooh, baby. Yep, we got this. Oh, I suppose we can also use that, but that's a little... little unnecessary. And 4, 5, 6. Oh yeah. There's, there's nothing stopping this. And this isn't even farming that hard, to be honest. I had even more banana farms down when I beat this for the first time, but I didn't have as many merchant men, so maybe that's it. And do do do. Oh, I guess if you really want to take it a bit further, you could always throw down one of these guys to uh, decrease cooldowns on your abilities. That's always handy. Or if you want to throw in like a helicopter. Helicopters are nice. Helicopters are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Yeah, do something like that. Four, five, six. And we should have this guy shredded pretty quickly. But yeah, once again, Blenarius on normal difficulty, not too bad. Blenarius on elite difficulty, holy shit. You know? It's, uh, it's a whole new game. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is pretty much how I beat regular Blenarius on, uh, good old cubism. And there it is. Sorry about that, I was just having a chat with my mum. There you go, I've already claimed the rewards, so no rewards for me. But that is how you beat Big Boy Blenarius on normal. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this helped you out. And have a lovely day.